Hey everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rajat Agarwal. Saturdays in the fall mean football in Rhodes Stadium. Well, it's spring now and the women's lacrosse team can finally call Rhodes Stadium home. In its inaugural season, the Elon women's lacrosse team played its first ever home game Saturday. Fans were fired up for the game and showed their support. Look at those big heads right there. Those are awesome, as was the Phoenix. Elon would score early and often. The Phoenix put eight goals in the net in each half for a total of 16 in the game. Freshman Sloan Kessler led the way with five goals on the day. Elon gets the victory over St. Francis 16-7 for their first ever win in program history. That was amazing. Um, our, the fan base here was, was really fun and kind of crazy. Some of the fans were cheering air ball over when they would shoot over the goal. That was, I mean, whether they know lacrosse or not, it's awesome just that they can be so rowdy and really help us out to, you know, we feed off that. While it was the first home game for the lacrosse team, it was the last for five members of the Elon men's basketball team. Elon welcomed Davidson to Alumni Gym Saturday night and said goodbye to a special senior class. We won 18 games so far, and uh, we wanted more, man, we wanted more, but 18 wins is the most wins in Elon history except for last year. Uh, what these seniors and what our team has done in the last year hasn't been done in the history of Elon Division I basketball. Students were lined up from 11 a.m. that morning, and by game time, the line was along the entire street. Alumni Jim was rocking the entire night with the decibel level through the roof, much different than before the senior class arrived at Elon. I have a vivid memory of the first year before these seniors got here and um, telling my wife after games not to talk too loud because I could hear if she was having a conversation. That's how quiet the gym was. Tonight was the toughest ticket in Alamance County. I mean, it was a tough ticket, maybe the toughest ticket in the history of Alamance County. Senior night did not go as planned for the Phoenix as Davidson shot 62% from the floor to defeat Elon 86-69 and split the season series, but Elon is already looking ahead. I'd rather lose them now and beat them in the conference tournament, you know, and beat them now and then lose in the tournament. So we're going to learn from it and we're going to come back hungry and ready to play after a good week of practice. And we're going to take no prisoners in the, in the tournament. The team will travel to Asheville this weekend for their last ever Southern Conference tournament. Take a look at the bracket right there. The men grab the four seed in a first round bye. They will take on Western Carolina Saturday at 2.30 inside the U.S. Cellular Center. Elon could potentially take, play Davidson again in the semifinals if both teams win. Over to the women's bracket now. The women's team also with the first round bye. They go into Asheville as the five seed. The women will take on Appalachian State Saturday at 2.30 in the Kimmel Center. If they win, they could potentially meet number one seeded Chattanooga in the semifinals. Speaking of tournaments, the Elon baseball team was in one this weekend. Latham Park was a zoo this weekend as the Phoenix hosted the Elon Invitational Tournament. St. Joseph's High Point, Gardner Webb, and of course Elon played a round robin style tournament. Elon went 2 and 1 on the weekend with an 8 to 5 win over St. Joseph's on Friday and a 5 to 0 victory over Gardner Webb on Sunday. Elon's only loss on the weekend came Saturday to High Point. Coach Mike Kennedy hopes these types of weekends will help Elon come Southern Conference play. The fact that we're playing different people, um, it gives our guys a chance to see different arms, different styles of play all in one weekend, and, and which will help you in tune when uh, conference play comes. That's all for sports this week, but your ELN sports team will be in Asheville this weekend for the Basketball Southern Conference Tournament, so be sure to follow us on Twitter mm -hmm. at ELN Sports and visit us online at elonlocalnews.com for upstate, updates throughout the week. Sky and Megan, back to you. Um, Rashad, just one more question. What can we expect this week in sports? Well, the baseball team will be in Myrtle Beach this weekend for a tournament, and of course the Southern Conference Tournament, the last time we'll be able to see these five seniors take the court. That's good, and that's all we have, the, all the time we have for this Elon Local News. Be sure to check out our website at elonlocalnews.com for the news that matters to you. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Also, be sure to tune in to our morning show tomorrow at 9.50. From all of us here at Elon Local News, have a great week, Elon.